I've been following the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Iron Man 1 hit the big screen. I still have a sticker of Ironmonger from the Stark Industries NRF 425 blaster on my closet door all these years later. What can I say? I really like the MCU. But I also want to say the MCU changed something I once thought was integral to cinematic superhero movies. From the first Iron Man onward, there was something that really bugged me deep down that I never really gave much thought until maybe Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, that was when I got really critical about this franchise. I noticed a big trend among the plucky protagonists spread throughout the MCU. The one common denominator, the thing that made them all so similar to me. They all kill people, and I mean like a lot of people. Ugh. Oh, jeez. And most of the time, they don't even bat an eye when they do it. Now, I know in some situations, this may be understandable. Captain America fought in wars. Thor's people fight wars. Hulk is a killing machine that Bruce Banner has no control over. And the Guardians of the Galaxy are pretty much all criminals. But I guess growing up with Saturday morning cartoons where characters couldn't even say the word kill I'm gonna obliterate you all. made me think being a superhero meant doing whatever it takes to stop the villain of the week without resorting to lethal force. Which brings me to the one scene that stands out among them all in the entire MCU, in my opinion at least. It's not from my favorite MCU movie, it's not from one of the bigger and better entries in the MCU it's not even a very quotable scene, but this scene finally addressed what was bothering me all those years back. You defended the New York Sanctum from attack. With its master gone, it needs another. Master Strange. No. It is Doctor Strange, not Master Strange, not Mr. Strange. Doctor Strange. And when I became a doctor, I swore an oath to do no harm, and I have just killed a man. I'm not doing that again. I became a doctor to save lives, not take them. Doctor Strange doesn't like killing. In fact, he finds it repulsive. When this scene happened, I remember being shocked that a Marvel movie finally addressed the no-kill policy, and was happy that they did it in a movie like Doctor Strange. This scene leads perfectly into an argument between Mordo and Strange that gives us the perfect insight into their characters. You're a coward. Because I'm not a killer? These zealots will snuff us all out, and you can't muster the strength to snuff them first? What do you think I just did? You saved your own life! And then, then whined about it like a wounded dog! Oh, and you would have done it so easy! You have no idea the things I've done. And the answer is yes. Without hesitation even if there's another way there is no other way you lack imagination no Stephen. you lack the spine which later leads into dr strange not resorting to killing kaecilius and instead resorting to arguably the most creative final battle in the mcu trying to avoid spoilers here is guys go watch the movie and you can even see how his non-lethal approach to subduing his opponents carries over into other movies he's in. I've always thought that killing the bad guy is a really bad way to end the hero-villain conflict for three reasons. One, you prevent potential growth and development between the two in future installments. Two, it feels like a cheap and easy way to dispatch of the character. Lest we forget, villains should still be characters in their own right. And three... Oftentimes, killing the villain lacks weight in the MCU. There should be a lot of emotional baggage that comes with a hero killing anyone. Is this where they decide it's okay to kill, or does this action haunt them? In Doctor Strange's case, it definitely seems haunting, which is why his refusal to give up or destroy the Time Stone in Infinity War resonated with me a lot. His Hippocratic Oath as a Doctor has already been broken, so all he has left is the oath he made with the mystics of Kamertage. And you can be sure no one is going to make Doctor Strange break that oath. Right? We're in the endgame now. 